hey guys welcome back last time we set up our custom user model so we set it up and we are now using it in our main settings file and we now have chances to extend it if we wanted so in this video we're going to be setting up the model for the to do so to set up the model for the to do we want to go to the to do and also go to models so here we want to set up a class it's going to be called to do so we are going to be inheriting from models dot model so basically this this gives us the utilities to basically construct a model so our model is going to be having a few things one of them is going to be the title so we can have title here so title is going to be a chart field then we can have max length okay then the only thing is going to be a description so then the description can be the text field so for the text field you actually don't need to specify the max length it's not mandatory then the next thing we are going to add is the is completed field so is underscore completed so it's going to be a boolean field and by default it's going to be false like you see then we need to define a to string method so under str then let's return the title so self title so one, one other thing we need to set up is the owner so we need to set up a foreign key with the user such so that when we have a user we can get all the to-dos they have created and of course the way application is going to work is you're not going to be seeing to-dos of everyone you should only be able to see yours so here let's set up our owner so owner is going to be a foreign key so the foreign key we need to set up a two so two is going to be the model we are for referencing so let's import our model so we can go to authentication dot models import user then we need to specify and on delete so on delete we can use models cascade so this means that every time a user is deleted we should make sure that we delete out all the to do they had created on the site so that's what that does okay so moving forward another thing that i'm gonna do is set up a tracking model or a model that's gonna have things like created that and updated that so you notice that things like created that and updated that in your case you might have something else might be repeating for all the other models so somehow and for some reason django doesn't provide you these two two fields by default so what you want to do is you want to create a tracking model for those so i'm gonna come over so i'm going to create a helpers folder here helpers and then in here i'm going to have a models.py so now i can create a model so class i'm going to i'm going to call it tracking model tracking then we are going to inherit from models.model so models.model like this then we will have let's make sure we're importing models so we'll come over here and have the same import so here we can have created that and updated that so created at should be created at so models it's gonna be a daytime field so here we want to do auto now so every time the instance of this model is created then we want to make sure that for this created that we insert the, the current date time at that point at that time so we also want to update that so updated at so for updated that it's also going to be a date time field and now here we can add so whenever it's updated so we can use auto now add then set it to true and that's going to be using also the current date time every time that model is going to be updated so to be able to use this by default we can use this as a separate model for any other app but what we want to do is we want to make it abstract meaning we shouldn't be using this to create objects itself so here we can have a class meta so for the class meta we want to put abstract equals true so this means that this model should only be inherited from and not used to create new models because this is very generic tracking model you can't create objects from tracking model because what it does mean because normally if you have user a user model then you know if i say user new user or user user you're creating a new user instance but tracking model tracking model that doesn't make sense so the only use the only use of this would be to be inherited from so we can get these fields on every on every model we create so we can do 
so we can do abstract equals true also whenever we are querying for objects we are always most of the times we're always going to need them to be ordered by the they create date in descending order so the recent ones come coming on top so here we can also define ordering so ordering can be created at but we always want the descending order so we put the minus one there and yeah so that means that in the to do we can come inherit from our tracking model so let's import our tracking model so whenever we create where we created helpers we want to make sure we can import from this folder so let's add a dunder init dunder.py then let's import that that models file so from helpers dot models import tracking model like this then let's add tracking model here so we want to remove this one too and save so when we save let's stop the server and, ref and rerun it it is quite stuck so when we save you see that now it is running and yeah so instead of us having to say create that updated that in this model we go to another model we create we put those another model we put those that's not gonna be helpful you're gonna be repeating code so that's why we inherit from this and basically saves us a couple of lines and makes our things more organized so now let's go ahead and migrate this so we can do python manages py we want to first prepare our database for the new changes so we do make migrations and then we want to say migrate like this okay so you see that now our migrations are applied if we run back our server things will be still working so that's gonna do it for now in the next video we are gonna go ahead and start working with model forms so thanks guys for watching if the video helped you give, give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i will talk to you later